Hello, Anime Nyan here, and this video is part of a program called the NSFW Tutorial Sponsorship. So, if you want to create NSFW tutorials, I am paying people 100 USD to share their knowledge. It's not much, but I want to encourage the sharing of NSFW knowledge in the community. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add breast physics to models using the cloth physics built into Blender. I'm also going to show you how to make models collide with the breast, then show you some settings to mess around with on the cloth physics to get the look or feel that you want them to have. These are the two models that I will be using. One large, one small. This method works on big or small, but tends to work flawlessly on small breast while using it with large breasts tends to be more difficult and needs more adjusting to look good. I'm going to start with setting up the big breast model. First, you need to make a cube. Go into edit mode and set one face to have a mean crease of one. Then, go to object modifiers and add subdivision. I recommend a subdivision of two for small breast and three for large breast. The cube should become round but still have one flat side. Now that you have the shape, apply the subdivision and go into edit mode. Resize the shape and move it to fit where it should be. It won't fit perfectly, so just get it to fit the best you can. The actual shape I will be doing manually in sculpt mode, though there are many different methods of making a cage. Shrink wrap, remeshing the base mesh, and blender add-ons like Simply Cage. That's close enough. It's not going to fit any better than that. I've made the cage red so it is easier to see through the mesh. When manually sculpting the cage to shape, the tools I mostly use are smooth, inflate, grab, and elastic deform. I start by getting the cage more into shape and then expanding it outside of the mesh and smoothing it back into the mesh, and occasionally doing a vertex smooth in edit mode when it is getting really bumpy. You can also do this step at the very start, but I usually do it after. But now you need to select that flat face and press Ctrl and G, then press Assign to New Group. Then rename it to Pin Inside the Object Data tab. Now I'm going to show a really sped up version for the small breast model. Now click on the breast cage, go into the physics tab, and click on cloth. This will enable it for the cage with default settings that we have to change. As a baseline for the settings, copy the settings you see on screen, and don't forget to set the pin group as the pin we made earlier.
and here is our result. Pretty unrealistic and unusable. But we can fix that later after attaching it to the mesh. To attach the cage to the mesh, you need to first click the mesh, and then shift-click the armature of your character. Both should be highlighted, but the armature should be brighter. If that is the case, then press Ctrl and P, and select Parent with Empty Groups. This will transfer all the armature's vertex groups onto the mesh without weights, so that the data transfer can be applied properly. Now, add the data transfer modifier to the cage, and data transfer the vertex groups as I have done on screen. Make sure the modifier is above every other modifier before applying, or it won't apply properly. After applying, the cage should move as if it is part of the mesh. Now you can apply a Surface Deform modifier to the mesh of the character, and select the cage with it, or manually enter the name. We don't have a vertex group for the cage to deform yet, so let's make one. First, go into Edit Mode, select the tip of the breast or the nipples, then press Ctrl and the plus sign to expand the selection until it covers that breast. Now press Ctrl and G, and make a new group. Now rename it to whatever you want and put a period at the end, followed by an L or R, depending on what side you are renaming. Go to the Tools tab, then Symmetry, and select these options. Symmetry will not work if you haven't named the groups correctly. As you can see, what is done to one side is also done to the other side. Saves us a bit of time and makes them even. Now try to shape out the weights with subtract and then blur the edges. If you subtract too much, you can change your brush to mix and try to fix it, or press Ctrl and Z to just go back and redo it. Mine got a little messed up, so I'm going to switch my brush to mix and fix it. And if you are trying to fix one side, make sure you turn symmetry off, or you will have to go and fix the other side too. Now you can input the vertex group you just made into Surface Deform for the side you have ready. Now you can bind it and you can finally see what changes it makes to the mesh. But the cloth physics still isn't tuned so it's kinda just dangling off her body. I added the third subdivision for large breast, which helps it a lot, but it still isn't pretty. Now that it is binded, we can see what it actually looks like and start tweaking numbers based off that. Still looks pretty bad. Even with the cage hidden, you can tweak its settings. Quality steps makes the physics more accurate, but it also gives it more jitter and makes the physics take a long time to come to a rest. While mass is pretty self-explanatory, but it changes the mass of the vertex of the cage meaning it will move like a heavy water balloon at high numbers. Keep it between two and four. 
Pressure is how much force is being applied to itself from the inside. High numbers make the breast very round and balloon-like. Keep pressure scale at 10,000, and keep fluid density at 1,000. Lower it to 1 if other settings are causing the physics to glitch out. The shrinking value shrinks the whole cage at the start of simulation, resulting in a tighter feeling for the cage as it retains its shape and shrinks. Pin should be set and stiffness should be zero. You can also tweak the force multiplier at the bottom of the cloth settings. On this cage, the gravity force is set to 0.5 or 50%. Once it moves and looks the way you want, that should be all. Until you want to tweak it for a different effect in the future. Now, we are going to duplicate the cage and its settings and mirror it to the opposite side. First, add another surface deform modifier to the base mesh. Now, unbind the surface deform. Then press Shift and D to duplicate the cage. Right click to place it back. Go to Object and then Mirror. Then select X Global. The mirror has flipped the normals, so we must flip it back in edit mode, so the physics can work. Now rebind the original and bind the new cage. Now that we have two cages, we should rename them. Now I will show you how to add collision to character meshes while not just making the whole thing a collider. It is much easier if the armature is in rest pose. Now press Shift and D to duplicate the character mesh. Now go into edit mode and select the parts of the mesh that you want to collide. Click select and then invert. Now delete all faces selected. Now just add collision. Turning single-sided off is usually the best choice. Don't forget to bake the physics so that the physics are accurate and not tied to viewport frame rate. And so you can see the result without a heavy performance hit. You can even add colliders to each breast cage so that they can be squished together, much sexier than them just clipping. And with that, we have reached the end of this tutorial. Good luck, and goodbye. Thank you for watching.